Hey, hey, welcome back everyone. So last month video I made for you guys to talk about content marketing, influence marketing on Facebook and how to really leverage it without spending any money. But I also talked about how Facebook ads are super powerful. I've been using them for a while for my customers and clients. And I don't really personally use my own account. So I'm like stuff is pretty limited on how much I spend on them. This is my new one, but I'm going to walk you through the whole introductory of the Facebook ad creation and also how to really get in there and make it really narrow so really define what you're looking for without wasting any money on it. And this is for beginners, so if you're new to Facebook ads, don't know if Facebook ads even are, this is perfect for you. And this, you know, integrate why it's so important. When you watch Gary Vaynerchuk or any top gurus on social media, Facebook right now is like AdWords was back in 2001 when it first came out, 2004. And when that first came out, you were spending like 13 cents for a click to get people to watch your dog videos, your wine library, or your blender bottle cups, whatever it might be. 13 cents. And Facebook is kind of the same way. Right now it's super cheap. Here in the next five years, by 2022, 2020. For, we could spend right now for $10, $100 for reaching thousands of people. By that time period, it'll be $100 be $10 or $1,000 maybe. Like, it'll be a huge leap on how much you can spend. So for people like us, the average people who are just trying to you know, monetize their passions and live life on their own terms, this is the perfect time to get on Facebook ads. And even if you don't want to, you know, do product marketing or sales or something like that. It's a good thing to know about so you can, you know, make a video go viral or help spread awareness about something you really care about. So this thing is really, really important and I know you all want to love this. So right now you can see my page, I have the Setup Business Manager and this is a free thing to do. I really recommend doing it, otherwise you just use Ad Manager. Ad Manager is great too, you can see your ads and See what you're doing. If I spent five dollars for a little test, and I got five cents on a click for a 10 second video view, and two cents per post engagement. Let's say AdWords was even more expensive. So right now, Facebook is crucial on really making you pretty much print money off of the internet. But like I say, for you want to make sure you have a group thing and really see what's going on, really get more into that. Right now, see, this is my stuff here, and this is all for content marketing. I don't do any ads for this. So I increased 144% in the past week or so, reaching almost 8,000 people. And then my engagement is almost 600, which is a 66% increase within the past week or so. And this is solely due to what I talked about previously. Going to groups and engaging with other people and really leveraging your clientele. So going even further than this, I really want to stress the importance of having, you know, this all set up in a way so you can really monetize what you're doing. So here's a new way you can do that now. You create a new ad. You see ad campaign, you a clip creation or a simple guided creation. Either one. And there are a lot of different ways you can do it. It's like brand awareness. You try to make your Nike outlet clothes look good or a new shirt you have or this your personal brand in general. It's good for that, so it's reach. It won't get you engagement, it won't get you really likes or anything. It'll just put your face off into the distance. When I was doing marketing for Austin Focus here in Austin, Texas, we did a lot of brand awareness. Because they see your brand they would really come back to it later on and really know who you are and talk to them about it, look it up, ask your friends about it. This is a powerful key. But I don't think these two are the best to use. You do want to make sure you have a great content and a great viewership. The best one to use is either traffic, engagement, lead creation is pretty good as well, and also conversions. Conversions is going to be the best thing you want. First two for me, like, I just like about to be doing drop shipping pretty soon and this is how I really want to monetize my Amazon store, my books I have, or anything else I'm selling online. 
And this, another reason why I love ads so much, it really helps us, you know, get away from having to pitch our friends on Facebook all the time. You know, no one wants to be pitched. And I'm all about giving value, so this is why I'm making this video as well for you. But to really go into, you know, lead generation is all about, you know, getting leads, getting emails. And email subscriptions on your website is key, like, it's so powerful. It's another way, you know, engage the community and help them out and give them offers and give them products. And if you like me, a book writer, my first book is called Perfectly Perfect, How Live Your Dream Life. And once I get 5,000 email subscriptions, I can pretty much go to any publishing house and make a contract deal with them from anywhere from $50,000 to $150,000 or more. And then royalty payments after that. So email subscriptions are your best friends. If you haven't done it so already, I would definitely recommend getting on the email subscriptions. And this is about Facebook ads, but this is a quick rehab. This is another way to do it. MailChimp.com is a powerful tool for making your whole Sorry about that guys. Well MailChimp creation, so I can actually just show you right here. So MailChimp is a free service you can use and you hope you collect emails. Sign up for free. You can really attach it to your WordPress account, your ClickFunnels, or whatever thing you're using. And it will collect emails for you once you get a pop up. I will have a whole video for you though on this subject later down the line. So don't worry too much about not working for you, let me to see it. But to go more into it though, we have to get lead generation, what I just talked about. Yeah, video views is really good too, it's like something to go viral, like yeah, funny video where I tell your friends or you like me spreading suicide awareness or motivation or this video right now. I would use my video views to get more views to, for that video. You can get messages, have people message you directly, you can do it that way. But for me, the best one must be traffic, engagement, conversions, and maybe lead generation as well. But to give you more on them, engagement is all about getting people to like your stuff and sell it and comment. And this is why I like content marketing so much. Because if someone sees that you have 100 likes or 200 sales or 50 comments, other people will see that, like, oh, I should probably look at this. This is probably interesting. This might be good. It's called the, the Jones effect. I'm a psychology major, and this is something we really use a lot to our advantage on really helping shift the people with mindset. And the Jones effect is pretty much the same. If someone has a nice car or a nice house on the street, the next neighbor will do the same thing. This is the same preference. And when I was learning how to do ads a long time ago, one of the best things about it was is you want to use your engagement first and really help them be targeted to like third world countries. You know, in America, people here don't really engage as much as they do in third world countries like Kuwait, you know, Kuwait, Dubai, not even third world countries, but like different places around the world outside of America far more likely to engage with what you're doing and like it. And it's because the mindset is different from there and here. But even better than this engagement thing is most people have ads that they spend lots of money on and they don't get any returns on it. And that's solely due to the fact that if I was to walk up to you right now without even knowing you, like, hey, I have this new phone, I want you to buy it from me. You'd be like, I don't even know you, I don't want to buy your phone, it's off pretty. Well, ads are the same way. If you just send an ad out saying, hey, I have the best phone in the world, buy it. Unless you know our brand is already and who we are, most people won't buy it from you, buy it from somebody else, at least look it up and find it elsewhere. And this is the same preference. So we have a thing called Facebook Pixels. The Facebook Pixels you can add into your WordPress account or to your ClickFunnels. And this will allow you to monitor what is going on and retract what people have been looking at. If I had a video that was watched for 50 seconds long or for 10 seconds long, 
I can be engaged with them and we target them to have them see my next ads. If I send them to my website or they buy something from me. I can be target people who bought something from me prior before then keep that thing going and have them buy from me again. Because if you understand the whole psychology of sales, if someone buys from you one time, they're way more likely to buy from you again, especially if they liked it. So having engagement first be your first contact with them is a key thing to do before you go into the conversion traps. Also traffic, you need really, really good content. You don't need to post for engagement if you have good content, that way you just have a fuller reach. And then you have conversion, which is obviously going to help you make more of the many, more of the sales. And this is what we do today on this video, just so you can really see what it is about and why it's so awesome to use. So let's get started. So campaign's name, um, almost really arbitrary, and no one you know, really lifts up that often. So you know, you can do stuff about blender bottles, about speakers, you can do whatever you want to. But I want to do Maine Coon Cats. People love cats, and right now Maine Coon Cats are pretty popular, but not too popular. So let's go Maine Coon Cats. You can see here my ad set name, Maine Coon Cats. Name that again so you know what you're looking at. So I'm going to use my website just because it's easier, my picture is already on there, without have easier viewership for it. But normally, you have something tailored for that, so it would be like maincoongcat.com, in my case. You come here, and this is the best part, well, one of the best parts about Facebook. Facebook has such a huge collection of data on all of us going on. That's why I had this huge debate with Mark Zuckerberg in Congress not that long ago. Because he can use his content to monitor and know everything about us. And we can too. Which is kind of scary but also really awesome at the same time. But before we go in here and look up interests, uh, what they're into, make sure we know what they like. What I like to do is the audience insights. And here we can really see what is going on or how many people are on Facebook. What they're watching, what they're using. So you can see here that 54% of the content of people on Facebook are women. And then 46% is men. Most of the ages right here be 25 to 34, which is my age group, 26 millennial. You have some 19 to 40% and 60%. So your highest group right here will be 25 to 44. But you can also go into here, and this is the key factor, this is how you really find out what to target and have to find more people or what's the more many. So main queue. Main queue cats. Yeah. Okay. So we can go in here and type in hobbies. Pets. Cats. Now we see we have cats in this demographic. And then you can also go back to all ages again. See what's going on. Most people like cats on this one to be eighteen to sixty-five. You can see the whole spectrum again this way. You can really cancel it out and see and tell us one person you want to. So, men and women both like cats, obviously, we have a higher set in women. So, not to waste many, what I would do would be to tailor only for women that like cats. That way you have more of your buck going for your bank, without having to waste so much of it. You see, more people who are doing are married. So you have 54% of the people are married. 61% of people go to college. And go here, you need to see more of the audience to sell, and job titles. So you have personal care or home services people. You have the highest one be administrative services and sales. And this really helps really tailor what you're trying to find. And page likes is the most important one we have here. But I'm gonna do that one last. It's cause it's so important. I don't even I really want to stress the importance of it. And 
Now we'll add Meng Kun in there too. Just so we have a more tailored niche on what we're looking at. So we have a huge part of the portion are going to be these top three. People in Arizona, Mesa, mostly of Florida, and also Wichita, Kansas. I have the highest compare rate. And this is really going to help us a lot see what we should put on ads and what states in the town. So Arizona, Florida, and Kansas. And you would do maybe even do tailor the towns as well, so Tuscan town. Other activity, which is a really a powerful thing. You can see people on the iPhones, almost on the phone with them. Page likes, comments, page likes, ads clicked. So you always see here that the people who are looking at cats are actually looking at the ads as well. So we already know the high percentage rate of them actually engaging what we're doing. Now the most important part, this is page likes. And this is so important because this lets us find out what pages we should go to so we can really make sure that we can add that page to a demographic. And once we do that, we can really make sure we are not wasting any more money than we need to. So we see here top categories of community services, pet suppliers, fictional character, business services, and so forth and so forth. Animal Rescue Home, Pet Smart, Pet Co. This is the best one right here. So we have a video right here 1.2 million people. And let's do the top five. So we got and my cat. We're gonna look at them first, make sure it's not something wasteful and so that's relevant to what we're doing. And we will do the human main side as well. So we can come here and go into our group and see how much they have. We have 2.3 million likes on this page. The engagement rate is probably pretty. It's all right, you know, 95 likes, 33 sales. We come here. It's about hot worms, people who care about their pets. Not a good idea. So say you're sharing. You trying to sell hot warm medicine on your Etsy store, your Amazon store, your own website. This would be a key page that you would add into that. So you really know that the people looking at your ads also care about hot warms and are interested in what they're doing. You really do the same routine over and over again. This is more about dogs. So you know, you might not add the Animal Rescue Home Center, but you still could. You just know, if you did, I would not just do female no more. I would add men and women to the categories to so really niche that and make sure it's not too broad. You have Pet Smart, there's almost 3 million people watching that. Yeah, this is almost 4 million, all cute all the time. This is all about animals as well, and facts and engagement. This is kind of a random page, so I might not use this just because you know you got kids and other stuff going on there. And you want to make sure it's only for what you're looking for. And they have the Humane Society, and this is also a good page to use too. So now we know a page we want to use for our ad campaign, and what we want to use for our targeting center. So let's go back here again, and see what is the biggest age group of people who are having cats. So 25 to 34, and 35 and 44, and 45 and 54. So I would do 25 to 54 years old age. People who are in college, it really matter education level. But what really is important here, you want to find out how much you want to use for your main campaign. Now, most people here are probably making anything from $25 to $100,000 or more a year. You can even tail that into them as well, which is an amazing factor. So let's come here, you can see there, you can see market segments, parents, political aspects, advanced features. Language, relationship statuses, we can tailor for like married, not married, engaged, education, work. So you really go in there and really fine tune what you're looking for. This is gonna be like your best friend when it comes to marketing, especially on this kind of connection. So this is the biggest part you wanna look at. You see how many parents they have, life events, you can do it all. And then we also want to come back here and see this is how 
big of an audience it is on a monthly user. So that 25 million to 30 people a month looking up cats. So you already know it's a huge market for it, which is going to be good for you on really converting them into your page. So you got job titles. Make sure you're right here, top 26%. You might want to use that one for your niche you want to use. So go back to our ad management campaign. So like I said before, we see that it was we can exit out of Kansas, uh, United States. You don't need a whole demographic though. So let's type in Kansas, Arizona, and then the last one was Florida. Now we have our three main states, the ones that are actually buying the most cats. So then, we also know that city four is 25 years old, all the way to 56, even maybe 55. It doesn't really matter if you this cat one, because everyone loves cats, and it's really good to know. But you want to look at the women, type in English, unless you're German, or unless you're Hispanic, or whatever you want to, how your ad campaign be set for. So now we know what's going on here. Now this is one of the most important features about the whole thing. So, detailed targeting. Could you match at least one of the following here? So, cat level. You see cat level, about 317,000 people a month on now. This one is 13 million. So use the ones that are always bigger. Find out the interest rate for this one. So this one, you have cats, which is 267 million people looking for cats every single on Facebook. Now over here, you can even exclude people. So you can exclude people who, let's say, exclude cat haters. Dog lovers. So we have 19 million people. We can exclude people who love dogs and not cats. Or if you don't want to do this way, what I normally try to do is you do nail audience. And you can nail the audience to people who only want Maine Coon cats. Yet 2 million people like Maine Coon cats. And then you can type in cats as well. Because it's pretty much the same thing. So this way, we make sure that everyone who sees our ads will be that one target center. Like I said before, interest right here. So we see that we have people who are married. We go there, we can type in married people. We can find out how much they have a month or how much we have total on Facebook. Go there, we got married, you see income. You look up here, income from 100,000 to 124. And 40 to 59 or 50 to 60. You can do more than one. So let's do browse. So you can look what I'm talking about more about browse. So you can see more categories, you see interest, you see demographic, education level, financial, so net worth, income. So let's do this one and this this one. You can do this one. So everyone who wants to see your ad they are going to have some amount of money they can really put into this cat sweatshirt you have or buying cats from main coon sellers. You can do demographic again, do education level, you can type in associate degree, high school grad, and grad school, and college grad. Now we know this, we can go in there one more time, you want to, behaviors, and let's do interests again, hobbies, pets, cats are already in there, and it doesn't really matter what you really do for this one, let's say the person likes 
fishes to a pet food. There we go. We have pet food and cats. And we know they have a cat already. May want to upgrade to another cat. So these are all really tailored niche. And right here we see here that we have six million people potential reach. And you want to have at least one to three million people on this listing at all times. And for America it's really easy to do that. In terms of countries like you know Japan, it's a little harder for this smaller country. But for this one, you don't want to be too specific, if you're too narrow, or ads won't sell up as much as they could. But also if it's too broad, people who will see it won't buy what you want to sell them. So it won't be that useful useful for us. Average reach a day, there will be 1,000 to 5,000 people, which is not too bad. And we have ourselves set here. So let's go back down more. You can add the next and type if you want to. People like your page, friends or parents, or if you're a friend, it's clear people who like your page. So you so like I said before, I like pitching my friends and people I talk to on my Facebook that often. I probably do brand awareness and content marketing so they can come to me. And that's how they're really out. Just to exclude people who like my page. This way, I don't want to worry about them getting mad at me for trying to sell my main coon cat. You know, though, so adorable. Here we can see the average spin. I'm always big about, you know, A B testing and split testing. You know, you don't want to just spend a thousand dollars on an ad campaign and not enough for even the works. And the best way to do it is ten to sixty dollars. Sixty dollars is probably like the key factor, or even less than a hundred dollars is the key factor when it comes to really know how well your ad is gonna do. Now, I can do ten dollar ads for a couple of days to really know what's working and what's not working for me. You can even set it up to be, you want to spend more than $140 a week, which isn't too bad. And I had a friend who told me he spent $140 and made 10 grand off of it. So if that doesn't really change your mind about using ads, I don't know what will. It's like printing money off the internet. And it's best if you can give value to people. That's the best part. If you can give value or teach people how to make more money, then by all means, Facebook ads gonna be your best friend. But there's some of this too. And then also for your interest, just to go back to again, you can go back here and type up group names. So and my cat is a group. I'm gonna copy this. Go back here, my ad manager, and type in and my cat. If it's a big enough group, you can see it here. If it's not that big, it won't pop up. So let's do Animal Rescue Home. And I'm sure this one's big enough that if you type it in and add it to our demographic search, it'll pop up for us. Yep, right here. So you have two million people. If we add this in there too, and really helps us define our niche even more than before. That's why it's so important to go in there and make sure you look at these demographics and really tell what you're looking at make sure that you're getting the right niche. I'm a huge believer, you know, if you talk to everybody, you talk to nobody. So you want to make sure your niche is super centered on what you're looking for. So type in that, this is this. And this, this type in pet smarts. So you want people who want to care for the pets and actually like it. And then if you see two names, that's gonna tell you once in an employer. That means it's a job, it's the own factory. You don't want to use that one. You want to use one of the interests, like people that you like it. So you have 3.6 million people. We got this in there, this is our super tailored niche. Now we know exactly what we're looking for. But to go even one step further, let's say that you're saying cat t-shirts. And what I use a few tools to really help me do this to go even deeper into my search engine. Let's say I want to sell a cat toys. So you have a cat toys right here. You look at that. You can see on this keyword everything. I'll have a whole video about this as well because this is so powerful when it comes to content creation, blog, videos, ads. Keyword everywhere is one of my best friends. I use it every single day. So you can see here we have 74,000 searches a month at 96 cents a click. 
competition is that 0.93. So this is a pretty good thing to go in there. You got 24,000 results on them. Now the magic though is this. You want to aim for something like this that has less than 7,000 or 5,000 volume and $1.27. So you can get the most buck for your bank, like I said before. So let's say I want to sell cat toys for indoor cats or cat toy balls. Cat toys. So you see this now, we have 1,500 searches a month on them. And we have electronic, toys for cats, toys more demographic. I'll talk to you a whole lot more about this in another video. It's not too much at one time. So let's go back to our demographics one more time. Let's see what I'm talking about. And then type in cat toys, products, cat toys. We got toys, we got cat toys products. 23 million people on this one. So we know it's gonna be useful for us. And let's type in homeowners as well. So you know some people who have a mental space can't have animals in their house. So having a homeowner really help you narrow them down and make sure you have more of your niche being used properly. So this is the second right here. Now, we have placement, and I've learned that you can do a few ways for your placement value, and you can save your audiences, you can go back to your placement with them, and this is going to be a huge factor for you because I found out through my ads for my customers and for myself that it says instant articles or in stream videos, it says I see a live video for you or white columns, suggested videos, marketplace. No one sees those things. So you want to use just your feed. Instagram stories is awesome for that too. You can use banners if you want to, but I feel like the best one to use, you can use inboxes if you want to too. People look at inboxes all the time. It's like 10 messages. So this is what I use. I do my ads for anybody but myself. I make sure it's only on feeds, stories, if you want to, and then inboxes. This way you know that people will actually see your content and want to scroll by and not even notice it. So if it's on the side, it's an ad for sure. No one cares about ads. And most people like me have ad blockers on there like this. I don't see any ads on my computer. So having an instant feed really helps you reach more people that way. So this is my placement. You get your budget and schedule, you know, you can do it for one day, one day clicks, seven day clicks, you can do it for seven days in a row. You can do lowest cost, which is gonna help you. This is Facebook conversion price right here. I recommend it. This is Facebook changing it for you to have the most highest value for it. It'll probably help you as well. But Facebook knows that the more that you make money, the more they make money to like I said before. If I can make you more money, you will always come back to me. This is like my goal. If I can't make you money, then I don't want your money. Otherwise, it's not ethical. So this is my conversion that I use here. Always use recommended. I can use recommended pages as well. You can also make um, audiences that have look like audience, that looks like anybody that is already following what you have in America or following your page. You can have it be a custom page. Right now we're doing a custom page because I feel like for me I have to tailor one of them is sent down to a T. But let's say that you have a hundred thousand people or a hundred people or ten people buying your products already. A look like a page is awesome for that one reason. You can go and have your Google Pixels like I said before, your Google Pixels track the ten people that bought your product from you. And you can tailor your look like page to be anybody who has similar interests as them. So anyone who sees your ads will be more likely to buy your page as well. This is also why it's retargeting is your best friend. So I said before, you want to engage with them first, you know, build up a pool, and then do the conversion afterwards. So we can do continue if you want to, you can do identity. 
Now we go back to identity. So we can do my page, my basically media marketing page I have, my agency. We can have it be my name for me. You want people to see what they're looking at. You can add a new one you want to. Let's say you want to make a new one. It's a company or organization. I want to say I sell Maine Coon Cats. Choose categories. I'm trying to find something like pets or administration services that you saw before for the tailored needs that people like having already. Let's do, do cars. I'm trying to sell the cats. And I'll just click this page. Sometimes it takes a while to find a page because there's so many pages out there already exist. But Cat Moon. Probably do some cars we have here. So let's just cancel this one with a new page and have it be a brand, a public figure. Cat lovers. Choose a category. And let's say that you are a entrepreneur cat page. Well, I'm not quite sure why it's not working this time, but you can make a whole new page and do it from the outside sources and from the side woods. But you want to make sure you have a page set for you. You have videos, you can do a cat video if you want to. Now I don't suggest ever stealing your videos from other sources unless it's not made for conversions. Otherwise people are very upset that you're doing that. For this one, let's do carousel. We can do a desktop image. And I don't have any pictures of cats. Obviously you can see my dog back there. I'm a dog lover. Let's do cats on images. Right, so let's do Maine Coon. Alright, Maine Coon Cats. I like this picture. So let's use this picture right here. Come over here. Back to with this at. And now we can add a picture into this. Make sure we have it be tailored for a clickbait if you want to. Set the image. Upload the image. Come here. Go pictures. Main coon cat. It's too small. Do you want to find something in between? 240, I believe, 96. This is a single image. So 1260 to 628. So let's do Mancoon Facebook ads. Alright, um, this one's probably big enough. So, yeah, for the baby Mancoon cats are super adorable, people will fall in love as soon as they see it, come back here, upload our image to it, and now we have our main coon cat picture, it's still too small, there we go, main coon cats, kittens, website, be main coon Cats.com Headline Let's do a headline being 50% off or Save a cat Save A main coon Cat 
And I'm doing Ming Coon, like I said before, because it's really, really niche and it's really, you can, you can do paper ads for anything. Be it Harry Potter, be it cups, be it a certain kind of pen, like one specific kind of pen. You can really tell this ads for anything you want to. I've even seen a video of someone doing it for, somebody somebody look at a spatula, you know, how you only want one kind of spatula. This is why it's so powerful. This is a headline. You can cause an action. Cause an action would be like stop now or learn more. Languages gonna be English, which is already up there for us. And then our news feeds, descriptions. Let's say that say the main king cat 60% off. You will fall in love. And we can even add your fall on first sight. That first sight. Get yours now. Have another call to action. And when you have it say yours, people are like he this thing that to be in the mind. It's like hardly major. We use that a lot for like, oh, okay, this is what you want. This is yours already. So we do the same kind of stuff here. Get yours now. Save, save, save a cat. People, oh, it's already mine. I want it. So, simple thing. But I said before, don't just use a picture. If I had a main coon cat like for me, I would have a picture of my German separate behind me. I would use him as my pictures or my videos. If people buy my German separate dog, my German separate dog food or Whatever I'm saying at the moment. Let's say here, this is my pixels. It's really easy to set up. You can add it to your click funnels to your WordPress. You just go in there, you copy and paste it into your website, your header. It's super easy to do that. So this is the premise, the whole form of what I'm gonna teach you for this beginner's lesson. Um, you want me to know more about ad Facebook ads? Let me know below, say yes, please more. Or if I'm going to go live and actually tailor it to what you want me to help you with. Let's say you're a marketer like me, you want me to help you with more marketing agents or more clients. Or you're a professor, you want to sell your class materials to your students. Or whatever it is you want to do, let me know. I can do a live video for you. I can also help you discover what's going on. I do free 30 minute discovery calls for people to really get on board and really learn about marketing, content marketing, Facebook advertisements, and the whole nine yards. And I love doing this kind of stuff, so I can definitely do this for you. So let me know below, say yes, yes, yes. If you want me to go live with you one day, or get a phone call, or send me a message, let me know. And I'll also be having a free webinar soon. And don't worry, no pictures in there. I'm gonna offer you my free value, because Obviously, I can do this already. I'm really good about making my own clientele coming up. And I'm just gonna give you as much value as I possibly can because I want to see everyone winning, not just one person win. So, thanks so much for joining me for this video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. It's super, super simple to get into once you really get used to it. See you all soon. Namaste.